Hey guys, welcome back to Overhead Athletics. Max Wardell here at HealthQuest Oxford today. We're going to do some shockwave therapy on the anterior shoulder. Something that often becomes problematic in our throwing athletes, the most important thing being obviously to get the shoulder strong and stable. After that, make sure the throwing mechanics are where they need to be. One thing we can do besides soft tissue mobilization and those sorts of things to get athletes back to throwing a little quicker a lot of times is some shockwave therapy. So extracorporeal shockwave therapy is something that we can do to capsular tissue, muscular tissue, and in this case, we're dealing with the capsule. And so we're gonna go up to about two bar here. Um, we're gonna deliver the shock waves at 15 hertz. And if you missed our one on the UCL, we're gonna kind of move around this anterior shoulder. And if you missed our video on the UCL, shock wave was initially developed to break up kidney stones. Um, and we use it now for calcific tendinosis. We use it in our throwing athletes for UCL tears when we can, you know, when we have access to a machine. And I treat patients out of HealthQuest here in Oxford currently. And so um, one of the things that we have access to here is some shockwave therapy. So, you know, working on, you know, a bit of shockwave here on the anterior shoulder, down the biceps tendon, a lot of times can decrease pain for our athletes and allow the athlete to get back to sport <clears throat> a bit quicker. So high, high energy acoustic waves delivered into the anterior capsule to decrease pain, stimulate some healing, and then actually improve um, the proliferation of collagen or the proliferation of um, high, high quality collagen, not immature collagen, but you know, in this case, a, a type one collagen that's, that's more elastic and robust than an immature type of collagen that we deposit in the instance of scarring um, that often happens with fibro, uh, you know, fibrous buildup or, or even like a fibrin uh, buildup in the tissue. So just something we can use as an adjunct to decrease pain, but also at the same time, kind of induce some healing and imp improve blood flow over the biceps tendon, anterior capsule, which is often strained in our throwing athletes. In addition to that, you know, working on some of the anterior shoulder where maybe even the bursa comes in if you have impingement and those sorts of things. So after we get done with this, that's when we get um, out into the gym and start beginning with some exercise-based therapy. Um, we move it around. Now we could, if we say we had calcific tendinosis or something, we could hold over one specific location. In this case, we just want to hit the entire anterior capsule. We've capped out at 2,000 um, beats, which is exactly what we want to hit there. And then now we're going to get out into the gym. So if you guys haven't seen our other video on the UCL, check it out. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. we got a bunch of stuff for throwing mechanics, especially for arm drag and things that actually contribute to or cause anterior shoulder pain in your athletes.